Hey everyone, welcome back to your VTU exam guide. In this video, we are covering the DBM SBCS for OTA subject in detail with model question paper 1 and 2, solved and explained. Whether you're preparing last minute or aiming for a gold medal, this is your go-to revision plan. Before we jump into the questions, here's a quick overview of what DBMS under VTU includes. We've got five modules, from database basics, a design, relational models, SQL, normalization, to transactions, concurrency, and even an OSQL systems like MongaD and Neo4j. It's a complete package, both theory and practical, and yes, a scoring subject too. Here are some expert tips to score 80 marks in your DBMS exam. Focus on diagrams, a diagrams, normalization steps, and architecture diagrams carry easy marks. Master SQL, practice SQL queries and syntax, it's a must for both theory and lab. Use VTU keywords, examiners love structured, textbook style answers. Write examples, don't just explain, show how. Revise previous year papers, that's why this video with model 1 and model 2 is gold. And remember consistency in presentation matters. Module 1, Database Basics and a Modeling. Start with the story of how databases evolved. Focus on characteristics, advantages, and the three schema architecture. Master of diagrams, strong and weak entities, relationships, generalization, and specialization. Module 2, Relational Model and Algebra. Understand schema, keys, and constraints. Practice relational algebra operations like selection, projection, join, and aggregation. Also, don't miss a two relational mapping, it's important for design questions. Module 3, Normalization and SQL Basics. Learn the why and how of normalization. Go to BCNF at least. For SQL, practice creating tables, inserting data, updating, deleting, and writing queries with where, order by, group by. Module 4, Advanced SQL and Transactions. Write and revise nested queries, views, triggers, and assertions. Understand what makes a transaction atomic and how to ensure serializability and recoverability. Module 5, Concurrency Control and NOSQL. This is a theory-heavy module. Cover two-phase locking, timestamps, validation methods, then shift to NOSQL. Know the basics of MongaD, document and key value stores, and the CAP theorem. Let's take model paper 1. Q1, define DBMS and explain its advantages. Here, you can write the standard definition and list four points, like reduced redundancy, data integrity, data independence, and multi-user access. Add an example, like a student database, and a small diagram if you have time. Repeat for a few key questions from model 1 and model 2. Don't read all questions, just highlight patterns. That's it for today's walkthrough of DBMS model papers with smart strategies. Don't forget to check the pinned comment for PDF downloads of Model 1 and 2 with solutions. Revise smart, write neat, and aim for 80+. All the best for your VTU exams, you've got this.